It is Friday. That means it's your family Friday right here on KSBY News. And we're in Solvang. Hi. 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 We've practiced the entire commercial break. That's all we can do. Let's try it again. We're here in Solvang and we want to say... Hi. Hi. That's better. What's your favorite TV station? KSBY. And who's your favorite weatherman? Oh, and we're here, and what we're doing in the background, by the way, you can see all the Christmas trees from the area have been set on fire. Why? The Santa Barbara County fire folks and the local fire department want to get a safety message out there. Those dry trees can go up just like that. We saw that live right here on KSBY News. I got a couple of young ladies here to talk to me a little bit about it. What's your name? Amanda. And you are? Lauren. Okay, Amanda, tell me a little bit about it. Your first time seeing this? Um, actually, last year was my first time. Okay, what did you think? It was exciting. <laughs> yeah? Fun. Bright. Bright. What about the heat? It was really hot. <laughs> it was really hot? Did you have to back up? Yeah. Okay, so did you guys get the message? I mean, trees can be dangerous, right? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, ladies. Very nice job. Yeah. Thank you all. Weather forecast coming up right here. Let's talk a little bit about it. Here is your Central Coast weather forecast. Beautiful weather again today. Look okay. at those temperatures. 64 in Santa Maria, 66 in Vandenberg, 68 in Lompoc, 72 in Santa Barbara, 66 in Paso Robles. Now the winds are back on shore now in the afternoon at about 15 miles per hour, and that is starting to take some of the edge off the daytime warmth that we had. But take a look at our temperature in contrast to the plains. It was 33 below zero this morning in Bismarck, North Dakota. It's still 14 below zero. It's 22 in Chicago, five in Kansas City. And that very, very cold air mass is diving deep into the south. This is going to be potentially a historic freeze for places like Florida over the course of the weekend, worse than the first cold air outbreak. And there's snow as far south as the Carolinas and Tennessee. Amazing. There is some rain in Northern California, but around here, high pressure is deflecting that system out of the area and no threat for rain, at least over the course of the weekend. We will see some cloud cover. There you go. Saturday, starting off with temperatures in the mid 40s, some 30s up in North County. Partly cloudy skies throughout the day. This makes it look like mostly cloudy, but a lot of this is high cloud spray. So still 69 in San Luis Obispo at noon tomorrow, 69 in Santa Maria, 67 in Santa Inez, 66 up along the north coast. We'll start the day with moderately strong offshore winds becoming onshore in the afternoon by 5 o'clock. Still partly cloudy with temperatures in the mid to upper 50s and some 60s in North County. And by 10, still a lot of high clouds around and temperatures in the mid 40s. There's a look at your pattern. High pressure in place. There are, again, storms systems out there in the Pacific. They just can't make their way this far south. That does change on Tuesday into Wednesday of next week when rain becomes likely. And then a week from that, when you take a look at two weeks from Wednesday, we're really going to get some potentially strong systems the models are advertising. But until then, it's going to be mild and partly cloudy conditions. Statewide, 56 in San Francisco tomorrow, 65 in Monterey, 47 in Bakersfield, 77 in Los Angeles. We have some Central Valley fog, by the way, if your travels take you out there. Be careful, slow down, plan for some extra time. The Thule fog is in place. 68 in Avila Beach, 67 at Tascadero, 68 in Napomo, 65 at Los Osos, 69 Santa Maria, 68 in Los Alamos, 70 in Vandenberg. And for the South Coast, temperatures in the mid-60s and low 70s. Your extended forecast, quiet through the weekend. Tuesday, chance of rain. Late Wednesday, we have a better chance of rain. Then Thursday, back to partly cloudy skies. You can see temperatures still right around 70 degrees all the way through the weekend. And on Monday, before the setback on Tuesday and Wednesday, pushing the temperatures back into the lower 60s and in some places, the upper 50s. We're back here in Solvang. A larger group has gathered, so we all want to say hi. hi. Did we have fun? Yes. yes, we had fun. A great message of safety here in Solvang, a great community gathering. We want to thank everybody in the community here in the Santa Inez Valley for having us out and for having such a great lesson and message that's so much fun, right? Yes. Okay, we've been working on this. Tony and Jeanette, back to you!